and voila, there she is. There is the bad mamma jamma, the hyper pulling dongle. Here it is. <laughs> All this waiting for this little dongle right here. 58 grams. So it's actually not 59 grams. It's 58 right there on the screen. You guys can see. What's up guys? Thank you so much for stopping in. Welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe, tap the bell, explanation point, notify. If you guys want to check me out over the live game streams on Facebook gaming, facebook.com forward slash real Joseph Corey and on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Joseph Corey. You can check me out on all the socials at real Joseph Corey. Don't forget to check out my new releases on Spotify, The Warlock, I'm Sorry, and Say to You. Three new tracks I just dropped. Check them out on Spotify and Apple Music right now. Here's a preview. Induendo Evo, Toto Bizarro, Mosquito, No Migo, Jack Harlow, Combo, Gonzo, Salvo, Fuero, Not So Like a Fucking Soprano. We are talking about the Viper V2 Pro, and it just dropped from Razer, and I had to get my hands on it. So we're going to dive right into this. What's the advantage to using a lightweight mouse like this? And how light is it? Is it worth the money? Let's dive right in. The Viper V2 Pro is definitely a better mouse than the Viper Ultimate. However, if you like the quick docking station, then it may be a no-go for you because it's incompatible. And not only that, it has no RGB. So if RGB and quick charging on a dock is a solution for you, and you also want a lightweight mouse, the Viper Ultimate is still the best choice. However, if those don't mean anything to you and a lightweight mouse as light as possible while being affordable and good quality means the most to you, the Viper V2 Pro. Muscle memory for aiming and flicking is how you improve your skills in the game by doing something over and over and over again. When you're walking around, living your life day to day, your hands you're constantly using, right? Muscle memory has basically allowed you to become very familiar, almost perfectly familiar with how much your hands weigh and how much muscle strength it takes to move your arm and hand. If we can get as close to the weight of our hand without adding anything to it, muscle memory will actually be achieved quicker. So here we go, guys. The Viper V2 Pro. I'm gonna open it up here. And voila, there she is. There is the bad mamma jamma. No LED or RGB lighting of any sort. No rubber grip around the sides. And it's incredibly light. Even the packaging is minimalistic. We're going to go ahead and put this down here. I'm get inside this box and get the dongle and the transmitter. Which is right at the top here. It's all white. We're going to get our cable and instruction manual out of here. The hyper pulling dongle is exclusive to Razer. So we're gonna do a review on that once I snag it. It's gonna take me a couple of weeks here to get one. But we'll be good after that. Inside the box comes the extra grips here that you would find on the Viper Ultimate. So you can add those if you want. I just might do that. It explains all that to you here in the book and it gives you a Razer sticker as well. This is the warranty card. We're gonna add this to my warranty because they do have a very good advanced replacement warranty. And if we look at the Viper Ultimate right beside the Viper V2 Pro, you can see where the rubber right here on the side go. You can also see one is RGB and the other is not. This is 75 grams. I actually weighed this mouse, 75 grams. And if you look at the bottom, you can see where they've gotten the weight reduced from mostly. And that is this plate in here which allows it to quick charge. You cannot do that on the Viper V2 Pro. That's a big difference. It also has much better skates, uh, better design and shape, almost like the Death Adder V2. You can see that it's very similar. They're going with a, almost a universal style uh, of skates. The only difference is it's around the optical sensor, but for the most part, you can see it's pretty much similar, very similar shape too. They are identical in size and they are nearly identical in physical appearance and both very high quality. The only real difference is the weight. That's the big thing here, the weight. 
So guys, looking here at the Viper V2 Pro, it is a significant improvement over the Viper Ultimate. The real big thing here is the fact that the Viper V2 Pro not only is lighter, but the build quality is, I would say, marginally better, which the Viper Ultimate was already a very good quality mouse. Side by side, we compare the two of them. The only real downfall here, I guess you could say, is the RGB, which looks killer but when you're trying to save weight you're trying to cut everything out of the mouse that you possibly could that's gonna weigh anything whatsoever these aren't all the mice i have or have tried i also have um a basilisk v2 and i've also had the naga pro and depending on what game you're playing it's going to depend on what mice you use and as you can see most of my mice are were first person shooters i don't have mmo mice because i don't really play mmos the only game that would really need a naga pro would be maybe Fortnite, but I do most of my building on a keyboard. So I got a scale here that's very accurate. Let's go ahead and weigh the Viper V2 Pro and see if it's pretty close or accurate when they say 59 grams for the white edition, which is what I have. So let's go ahead and turn this on. We're going to weigh the Viper V2 Pro. You guys can see the scale is right here. There are the numbers here. We've zeroed it out. And we are at 58 grams. So it's actually not 59 grams. It's 58 right there on the screen. You guys can see by comparison. Let's go ahead and see how much the Viper Ultimate weighs. They do say on Razer's website that this mouse weighs 74 grams, I believe. Let's go ahead and see where that's at. 75 grams. So that's quite accurate there. Uh, let's go ahead and weigh in on the Viper 8k they say this is 71 and we have 72 so definitely a big difference between the viper 8k at 72 and 58 on the viper v2 pro that's a pretty big difference i like i said that's you know uh, 14 grams that's a lot let's go ahead and see what the aerox ghost wireless weighs this is apparently 68 grams comes in at 67 Let's go ahead and check the Death Adder V2 Pro. 86 grams. Yikes. All right, guys. So this is Razer's polling rate testing software. You can use it to test the polling rate of your mouse to make sure that it is uh, working properly. And it's a very good tool to see the polling rate of your mouse. And the reason that this software is so good is because the websites that offer it are not accurate. There's plenty of websites that offer polling rate testing for your mouse, and it relies heavily on hardware acceleration depending on the browser you're using. So you could get a completely different result deviating 20, 30% from Google Chrome over to say Firefox or uh, Microsoft Edge. And that's a problem when you're really trying to find out the details of your mouse. So I highly recommend Razer's polling rate testing software, which I have here. And to show you, I've got multiple uh, mice here connected. We're gonna go ahead and set this up for the Razer Viper uh, 8K, which I also have. I'm gonna do a video on that as well, just to show you, start the test. And you can see that I'm at 6,000 Hertz. And the faster I move my mouse, you can see the higher the polling rate goes. It usually fluctuates between high sixes and mid sevens. It's hard to get eight, but really, you're never going to notice the difference between six, seven, or eight. The mere fact that you're at 7,000 hertz polling rate is incredible. Let's go ahead and start this with the Razer Viper V2 Pro at 1,000 hertz polling test. You guys can see we're going to start right now, and we are at 1,000 hertz. All right, guys, so the Razer hyper polling dongle has arrived 4000 hertz this is very light it's not a very big dongle we're gonna go ahead and open it up right now the hyper polling dongle here it is even has a little etching here of hyper polling see that yeah that's crazy right <laughs> all this waiting for this little dongle right here regular white dongle is that it has a USB. It also has green color on the inside. Matches the mouse. Looks really good in white. Okay. But the hyper pulling dongle has nowhere to plug in anything, as you guys can see right there. No USB. Just plug it into your computer. Everything's built in. So let's go ahead and do this now. Alrighty. We can see here the hyper pulling dongle has picked up. Connection status on the LED is what it's set to right now. Only active and solid white when a mouse is connected to the dongle. We set it to battery status. It'll gradually change 
uh, from green, yellow, orange, and red, which I like that idea uh, because it knows the status of the battery. Uh, you can also set it to battery warning only. We can open the pairing utility. We got to select a device. You're going to have to go over to the hyper pulling dongle, click it, and right here, you're going to click pair, and it's going to ask you to turn on your mouse. And when you do that, it'll recognize it and pair. And once it pairs with the mouse, it'll turn the mouse off. So then you have to turn the mouse back on again, and then you're good. So it's just a weird kind of, I don't know, setup. It's just kind of weird how that works. And we're going to set performance, and there you can see the polling rate we're going to set here to 4000 see the viper v2 pro is not here it's the razor hyper polling dongle and we're going to set it to 4000 we're going to click okay we're going to start the test and you can see that we're at 3700 so it's just like the 8000 from razor like the viper 8k you only saw about 7700 so we're only getting about 3700 but you know this is definitely, because it's wireless, is definitely an improvement. It is crazy. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for stopping in. Be sure to check me out on Facebook at Real Joseph Corey and Joseph Corey on Twitch for all the live game streams. I go back and forth. Don't forget to check out my brand new songs on Apple Music and Spotify. And thank you so much for watching this video. All the socials, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter at Real Joseph Corey. And we'll see you guys on the next live game stream or upload here on the channel. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, tap the bell, and share these videos to help the channel grow. Catch you on the next upload or live stream. I am out of here. Peace.